four seasons of NBA dunks under his belt, Jeremy Grant still can't escape one surrounded by friends. Grant's former DeMatha Catholic High School teammate, Quinn Cook, figures Grant's had better dunks in the past eight years, but he'll never forget a baseline slam toward the end of the 2010 Washington, D.C. City Championship against Blue. Cook, then a junior, now a Golden State Warrior, ran up the floor to congratulate the kid he'd known since many mixed basketball at the Kettering Largo Mitchellville Boys and Girls Club. Grant's older brother, Jerrion, then a senior, now a Chicago Bull, completed an intricate handshake with Little Bro. Another then-senior, now Indiana Pacer, Victor Oladipo pointed at a camera and flashed the smile Thunder fans briefly got to know over one season. It's rare enough when childhood friends became NBA players. It's even rarer when three of them, Cook, Oladipo and the Thunder's Jeremy Grant, have their breakout seasons at the same time and help teams to the playoffs. I was like the fourth option in high school. Oladipo, 25, said of DeMatha, the prestigious school in Hyattsville, MD, 25 minutes northeast of downtown Washington, D.C. DeMatha had four former players in the playoffs this season, including Philadelphia's Martel Fultz. They were just more skilled than I was back then. There was Quinn, there was Josh Selby, there was Najee Hibbert, Jerry and Grant. Marcus Rouse was on that team. We're loaded, Oladipo speaks humbly but has turned into the best of the DeMatha bunch. Following a trade from Oklahoma City to Indiana last summer, Oladipo emerged as an all-star and one of the best all-around players in the NBA. I still got a lot of work to do. A lot of room to improve, Oladipo said of being the best of the current NBA players from DeMatha. There were a lot of talented guys on that team. To be considered that is a blessing, Oladipo was traded from Orlando to the Thunder in June of 2016, followed by Grant getting traded to from Philadelphia to Oklahoma City in November 2016. But at least they were selected in their respective drafts, Oladipo out of Indiana in 2013, Grant out of Syracuse in 2014. Cook had the longest journey to NBA stability. After winning a national championship as a senior at Duke, Cook went undrafted in 2015, then bounced around the league on a series of 10-day and partially guaranteed contracts. He appeared in just 14 games for Dallas and New Orleans in 2016-17. After Cook was waived by the Pelicans in October of that year, it wasn't uncommon to see him in the stands at Chesapeake Energy Arena, a few rows up from the Thunder bench, watching his childhood friends play side-by-side. This season, the 25-year-old Cook was waived in preseason camp by Atlanta before signing a two-way contract with Golden State. After Stephen Curry sprained his right ankle in early March, Cook started six games. Curry returned March 23 and suffered an MCL sprain in his left knee which ruled him out for the remaining 10 regular season games. In that span, Cook averaged 15.4 points and 5 assists as a starter while shooting 50% from three-point range. His play earned him a two-year contract from the Warriors. It's huge, Grant said of Cook earning the deal. Just for him to go through everything, I'm happy for him and excited for him and I know this guy's the limit. The same goes for Grant. U2 in Oklahoma City for the 24-year-old showed rapid growth, as he averaged a career high in field goal percentage, 0.535, while finding his comfort zone at power forward. When you see his game progress every year since he's been in the league, college, everywhere he's been his game has gotten better because he puts in so much work. Cook said. Obviously he's getting more comfortable. He just gets to be himself and play off his instincts, and I'm so happy for him. The seasons of Grant and Oladipo both ended in the first round. Cook has a legitimate shot at an NBA title. No matter the outcomes, they know the work that went into their breakthrough years. Before Oladipo received a long hug and props from LeBron James at the end of their seven-game slugfest, he'd worked into the best shape of his life last summer. That same offseason, Grant and Cook vacationed together. Even on vacation, Grant felt bad when he wasn't working out. We'd wake up early sometimes and go run or something, try to find a gym. Cook said, he has long days, man. If it's weightlifting, doing balance stuff like that, he eats the right way. He takes it really serious. That seriousness is about to pay off. The Thunder has Grant's bird rights, meaning it can exceed the salary cap to resign the free agent to be. Industry experts believe Grant will command at least the mid-level exception, between $5.2 million and $8.4 million annually, come July 1st. Oladipo is locked in at $21 million next season, a bargain considering what he's turned into in a year. Cook has solidified his place in the NBA after battling two seasons in the G League and watching his friends shine amid his own uncertain future. 
Much has changed since that city championship, but not that much. In video of the DeMatha triumph, a 17-year-old Grant hammers the dunk and hangs on the rim with one arm. He spins around as if his shoulder socket doesn't exist, the same way he does nonchalantly for the thunder. There's a crazy picture of us, me and him hugging, in the paper after he did it. Cook said. He was kinda coming into his own late and that was like his stamp on the season. I remember it was pretty late in the game, Grant said. I had somebody on my hip. After I dunked it, I kinda hung on the rim for a little while. Everybody got pretty hyped for that. I knew my time was coming next year. Most of them were seniors who played the majority of the game, and most of them were going high DI. I was just being patient. I knew my time was coming. Grant, Oladipo and Cook couldn't have envisioned that time would come together. Close your browser does not support iframes. Former DeMatha Catholic High School teammates Jeremy Grant, left, and Victor Oladipo spent the 2016-17 season together with the Thunder. Photo by Sarah Phipps, the Oklahoman, Jeremy Grant, right, averaged 8.4 points per game this season for the Thunder. Photo by Brian Terry, the Oklahoman.